Hey guys, it's Tash here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you only just found me by clicking on this video. Hello, sending you a very warm welcome. I hope you like what you see and you decide to stay. So, welcome to my first festive vlog of the season. So, I literally feel like I haven't vlogged in the longest time so I'm really, really excited to be bringing you guys a full weekly vlog and we are into festive season so I'm so excited that my first vlog back is going to be a festive one. So, this week, me and Marcus, we have the week off together which doesn't happen often that we have a full week off together so seeing as we are now into the festive period we thought we would make it like a Christmassy vlog and do some festive things usually we would quite like to go away somewhere for a little weekend break and go to Christmas markets we did Berlin once and we've also done Bath um maybe that's something we'll think about doing next year as I do miss doing that kind of thing but instead we thought we'd just go to some kind of local bits and bobs so today we're heading down to southampton going shopping we might even pop into the ikea and then we're going to go to the winchester christmas markets which i've heard loads of really good things about it's not too far away from us just over an hour so yeah seeing as we've never been there before and it's rated as one of the top ones we thought we would go and check it out and i love me a good christmas market i'm so excited to look around the stores get some christmasy food maybe like a crepe a hot chocolate and also just start my christmas shopping so yeah i'm going to bring you guys a long a weekly vlog as like i say we do have other festive things booked in you will see as the days go on what else we're going to get up to but yeah i'm really excited to be back vlogging if you guys are excited too don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and if you are new here definitely come subscribe but let's go get festive together let's go have some christmasy fun so without further ado we're gonna head off to southampton i'll pick you guys up when we're there and let you know what we're up to <laughs> so we've made it to winchester and we're just heading to the christmas markets now so i'll definitely show you guys around when we get there it's looking really festive though i've got my earmuffs on keeping me warm it was actually so hot in this coat in the shop so but i'm grateful for it now this coat is from naked fashion and earmuffs are from new look but yeah we've never been to winchester before but even just seeing it so far it looks really cute and festive really nice city centre. We just had a walk through and looked in Anthropology. They have some really nice Christmas bits in there but yeah excited to look through the Christmas markets and get in the Christmas spirit. So you can just go chosen something from the food so we went to this little one here which was hog roast but never seen before they did a hog roast and halloumi which is a bit of us and then we got a little bit of the apple sauce in it you can see it's actually full up with the hog roast and then a massive slab of halloumi i want to give it a try is it good that's a good combo <laughs> really good guys mm, let's try <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back in the car. It's now the next day. Today is Tuesday, so the last clips you would have seen was us at the Winchester markets. They were super cute, really enjoyed those. Luckily, we had really nice weather as well. Today it's a little bit more gloomy, a bit of a miserable day. Um, but yeah, yesterday we went shopping in Southampton, which I didn't pick the camera up too much to show you guys what was around at the shops just because it seemed to be still really busy as I guess it's going to be now for the next month um, but didn't get too much I just got a few basic tops in Zara um, which maybe I will show you guys at some point in the vlog or if I pick up any other bits throughout the week shopping but yeah really really recommend the Winchester Christmas markets we had some nice food as you saw we had something from the hog roast stand I had a Bailey's hot chocolate to finish off and that was so good yeah really really liked Winchester as a city as well it was super pretty and it just put me in the festive mood so that was fun and today we're just off to do a little bit more Christmas shopping I will definitely try and pick up the camera today and then later on this evening we're going for a festive dinner 
at Bill's, I've been kindly invited to go and try out some of their new festive bits on their menu. I think we're also going to be trying the new Christmas cocktails, so I'll be able to show you guys the new food that they've got, give you a little review and some recommendations, and just bring you guys along our Christmas dinner. So that'll be really nice. So that is this evening. I feel like it's going to be a fun day, so I'll definitely bring you guys along. I'll catch you guys up when I'm doing some shopping. So we just popped into Primark and having a look at the velvet plush leggings. They have them in all the different colours, um, but they feel really soft and like they'd be really cosy. So just debating on whether getting some of these. They're just seven pounds each and they're basically lined with like this really warm fluffy material. So I feel like they would be perfect for winter, but they have loads of different pairs of these. I also think they have a cream, but not in this Primark. Just having a little look around the shoes and really really liking these boots they're only 22 pounds i feel like they'd be quite a nice high and yeah i just kind of feel like i need new knee highs but oh i've got more of them over here yeah they do look like the perfect black knee high boot actually don't think they've got my size of a size 7 though which is annoying but um these ones that i have spotted as well i absolutely adore they're 20 pounds each they've got them in the black with the cream or the full cream vibe and yeah they've got loads of these in stock Imagine these with faux leather leggings, such a dream. I'm also just really loving the winter accessories. They've got these really thick winter beanies and they've all got little initials on, which I think is really cute. But if not, they've just got some nice cable knitted ones. Guys, look how dreamy the sparkly bag is. It's literally only 11 pounds as well. It's full glitter. I love the strap detail so much. Literally how perfect for party season and this one. Loving it in the silver. That one's only seven pounds and it also has a long strap, but that is so gorgeous. to Cafe Nero and got some hot drinks. I've got the luxury hot chocolate with some cherry syrup. They've got cinnamon swell latte and also they sell to caramel hot chocolate. They all sound so good. They're like the new Christmas ones. So yeah, gonna enjoy. So guys, it's a lot later. I'm just sat in front of my ring lights. That's why it's quite bright um, and the lighting has changed quite a lot. Got home from shopping. So today I went out with Marcus and my sister, Hannah. We went for a little shopping trip. I literally only got one thing, but I thought I'd show you what I picked up and i'll show you my couple of zara tops as well but yeah it was really nice to just get out and also go for the cafe nero the new christmas drinks are actually really really good so i would definitely recommend the trying but yeah i'm just about to get ready for our dinner at bills this evening i feel like i literally just need to kind of top up my makeup maybe add a nice little bit of sparkle to the eye and get dressed i'm so excited to go out for some food i feel like i absolutely always love their menus especially around the festive period they always absolutely smash it and i'm super hungry so i feel like it's gonna be really good can't wait to bring you guys along but what I picked up today in town was this big candle from TK Maxx. I feel like you can see it's quite a big one. This was $14.99 and is a free wick candle, but the scent is mulled apple spice. And oh my god, I literally can't stop smelling it. It's just an unreal scent. Sorry, the light is shining quite annoyingly on it, but I thought it was giving kind of like Joe Malone vibes, like a bit of a Joe Malone dupe, but yeah a really big three wick candle. And yeah, if you see this in your local TK Maxx, give it a smell because Oh, it's unreal obsessed with that cannot wait to burn it and then really quickly the couple of tops which i picked up from zara and literally just good basics to have so i will just really quickly show you those so i just got a black long sleeved ribbed top i just thought these would be good to wear with like jeans and trousers this is in the medium to large and this was 17.99 it's from the limitless contour collection i think you can also get matching ribbed leggings but already have ribbed leggings from Shein so yeah I feel like you can see it is that nice ribbed material it does seem to like pick up fluff really easily though but it's really nice and stretchy so yeah I feel like I will be reaching for that a lot and then if you guys follow me over on Instagram then you will know I do quite a lot of just like my get ready with me outfits of the day it's like outfit inspo and my absolute go-to basic at the moment is these tops from Zara I have it in a white and a nude and basically it's literally just a top that you can like tuck in it's that classic like slinky material that Zara do in those bodysuits that everyone owns but they do it in this nice thick strap vest style so yeah I'll link those two items down below this one one is literally just 11 99 that's why I'm kind of building them up in like every color that they do because I literally wear the other two to death they just pair so well into jeans with blazers trousers they're just such a good basic and they are so so comfy on where they're so stretchy and that really nice slinky material so 
yeah these are like my go-to at the moment so i thought i would get the black as well that was everything that i picked up in zara so yeah literally haven't been picking up too much shopping i am gonna finish getting ready now to head to bills and then i'll pick you guys up when we get there and then of course for the rest of the week when we get up to some fun festive things so we've made it to bills we've sat down and just been given the menus so for christmas they actually do have some christmas cocktails so there's three different christmas cocktails that they've got at the moment the let us know I believe it comes like this. I think we're gonna get one of those. And then the winter spice Negroni and then a gingerbread espresso martini. So I feel like espresso martini is just such a classic and then so is gingerbread for Christmas. So I feel like they've got some really nice sounding cocktails and then for brunch they also do offer a festive pancake stack and that comes with meringues, gingerbread syrup, I even believe it has little gingerbreads on it so you can get that with the three stack or five stacks that would be really nice to come for brunch and you could also have the cocktails with it so that's something that they offer and then at the moment they are also doing burgers for the world cup Marcus has just had a look and said all of them sound so good so I'm pretty sure he doesn't know which one to pick yet just having a look over at the whole menu so you can also just order from the normal menu and they look like they've got really nice options and they also do a festive set menu as well so a free courses festive menu which would be good for like a Christmas meal or Christmas parties but I think today we're just going to eat off of the a la carte menu love the fact even the menu looks really Christmassy how cute all the little Christmassy bits on it so yeah just gonna have a look now and decide what we want to eat So cocktails are here. This let us know one came with some candy floss on it. Oh my god, look at the way it's fizzing into the prosecco. Oh, wow. So that one's the let it snow, and then this one is the winter spice Negroni. I need to give it a taste test. Give it a go. Mm. Really nice spices in there. Do you want to try that one? Yeah. Mmm, it's really nice and sweet. That's that one, like, I feel like it's got... Yeah, that got a different taste. Yeah, this sure. one's really got a nice sweetness to it. That one, the other one, you can definitely taste the spices, but it's really nice and they give them, like, festive vibes, aren't they? All the festive mm. feels. Mmm. Really good, guys. Excited to try the espresso martini one later, especially for you, because you love yeah, the coffee and you love gingerbread, oh, so... Yeah. Yeah, excited for food as well. We've both gone for different kind of burgers. I've gone for the festive burger stack and Marcus has gone for one of the World Cup ones. Was it Wales? Yeah. The Wales burger. So yeah, excited for that and cheese fondue to start. So yeah, we'll show you guys when the food comes. So starters have arrived, which we're so excited for because I'm so, so hungry, but we've gone for the cheese and truffle fondue. I'll just have a little look inside. Oh my gosh, look yeah. at that. How unreal. And then some halloumi as well, which I'm sure we could also dip into. But yeah, the halloumi sticks here are always amazing. And I feel like this is kind of a little bit of a festive starter. So that's why we opted for it. And we're both cheese lovers. So I feel like that's going to be so yum. Oh my god guys, the burgers have turned up. Okay, I'm going to show you yours first before you start tucking in. So Marcus went for the World Cup Wales burger. Oh my god, look at the bacon and everything in that. So good with some rosemary salted fries. And then I've got the Santa's, I think it was called the Santa's Festive Stack. Something like that. Festive Santa Sack festive santa stack something like that and i don't know what this sauce is maybe like a mayo all the burgers available to double up as well so you can add an extra patty and i think this one's got like some chutney in it stilton cheese melted lettuce and also the fries so yeah both look absolutely insane is it good oh, yeah it looks amazing I'm gonna tuck him So we've got dessert, I went for the Christmas crumbles and it also comes with custard and also a vanilla ice cream and then Marcus has white chocolate and Bailey's snowball. Oh my god, can you taste it? Oh yeah, the Bailey's was on the pet shop. Can you? Yeah, it was so cute. Can you taste the Bailey's in it? Oh my god, it looks amazing. And also the espresso martini. So yeah, finishing off with such a treat. This looks amazing. 
morning guys happy friday so it's now the end of the week i feel like the last time i may have picked you up was when we went to bills which we really really enjoyed i feel like you guys definitely need to book in for a festive dinner this christmas period whether you're going for like a date night or maybe like a christmas party works party the food was so so good definitely recommend you getting the cheese fondue and also the santa burger stack that was so nice with the melted stilton cheese in and also the christmas cocktails were unreal i love those little touches that bills do just to make it feel a little bit more festive bringing in like the festive cocktails and yeah they were super yummy and both of us had a new christmasy dessert which was also really good i had the christmas crumble and marcus had the white chocolate and baileys bomb which he said was unreal so i feel like maybe you definitely need to try that one so yeah bills was really good and then on thursday we went to london didn't really pick up the camera and vlog that just because i felt like it was going to make it super hectic in london but we just did some like christmasy bits christmas shopping at christmas markets and that was also really fun but today we thought we'd just have a little bit more of a chilled one so we're just going to head to the garden center have a little look around so i'll probably just do a few little montage clips just to show you how christmasy the garden center is looking because i feel like going to the garden center at christmas time is definitely the best time of year they always have really cute stuff so yeah that's on the agenda today and then just heading into town probably well today i feel like we need to pick up the little bits like wrapping paper christmas cards christmas gift wrapping all that kind of stuff so that's what we're going to do today seeing as we are literally into december now today is december 2nd yeah i'm really excited now that we're into december definitely feeling super festive so yeah this will probably be the last sort of day that i do vlog for the weekly vlog but i will definitely obviously round you guys up towards the end of the video as well but i just thought i'd catch you up with what we are up to today Hi guys, so I am just gonna pop on to end the vlog. It is just the next morning and I'm in my Christmas pajamas. These are the ones that I got from Primark. They are in my most recent Primark haul, but yeah, it's just the next morning. I'm just kind of gonna have a chilled day today, so I haven't really got any makeup on. I've just done a little bit of skincare, but let me pop you down. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little vlogmas episode, just coming along a few little festive fun things with us. I'm going to hopefully do a little bit more vlogging in December if I get up to any more fun things I feel like you guys actually might want to see. Also, please do let me know in the comments if there's any Christmas content that you really want to see from me. I just want to know what you guys want to see from Christmas content this year. Please do let me know. If you did enjoy this one, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you are new here, definitely come subscribe. I would love to have you here. But yeah, I did really enjoy picking up the camera and doing a bit more vlogging. I feel like I haven't done that in ages, so it was really nice to be able to do that and bring anyone to my channel. You guys know I absolutely love Christmas time. I love Vlogmas, so yeah, I will definitely bring as much content as possible as long as you guys wanna see it. So can't wait to see you guys soon with a brand new video.